This world is not real. The people are not real. Nico is upset. Nico is... No, 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 no. Everything is wrong! Hello everyone, my name is ASDF. Welcome back to One Shot. Now we just woke up in this world again and uh, we kind of hacked the computer a little bit. This game has been pretty meta these days. I wonder how the game would handle it if you already had files named like one shot underscore password one dot png like would it just overwrite your file or would it be like oh there's already a file there i'm not going to overwrite it and then you just wouldn't be able to proceed through the game nico feels uneasy oh nico why you got to be feeling uneasy let's see what's going on in the world now was that the tower a robot that no longer has power. What's left of a robot? Okay, so this all looks pretty similar. Let's check our inventory. We still have the strange journal and the empty bottle. I wonder if this is going to be the same progression as before. We just have to destroy the light bulb instead. Here's profit. Ah! That light bulb, you are here! M me Yes! Welcome to our world, friend! I am most humbled by your presence. Yes! Uh, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, right. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold. Yes! You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. <laughs> he does a spin. Um, I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh, uh, well, can you tell me about... About ASDF Gaming. Oh, when I woke up in that house, for some reason I called out a name. ASDF Gaming sure why I did that, but then I saw it on a computer, too. Ah, that would be our god. Oh, right. I think I feel like I remember something about that. You do? But wait, did you not just arrive here? I was the one who was supposed to inform you of that. So how did you know? Hmm, it just made sense, I guess. Ah, have you already contacted ASDF Gaming then? Nope. I just have to close my eyes and focus, right? Hey, ASDF Gaming? God? This is gonna sound weird, but have we met before? Yes. Ah, but I don't know who you are, though. It's just a weird feeling that I have. Oh, I bet I'm just being silly, aren't I? Sorry. But it's nice to meet you, ASDF Gaming. My name is Nico. I just contacted ASDF Gaming, yeah. Do not be afraid to ask ASDF Gaming for assistance. You are the messiah after all. Can you tell me about... Um, uh, going home. Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but I... I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago, and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world, just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. Can you tell me about this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off, everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the Barrens. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, that's what that tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Oh, can you tell me about the light bulb? I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your sun? Yes. Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh, 
The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called Phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. Now, it's our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. But now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. It looks pretty far off. Far off. Oh. Uh, yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. Hey, background check came back is clear. That's good. You are not a criminal. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. Okay, let's go in here. We need the crowbar to pry that open, right? Yeah, okay, so we read all this stuff already. Let's go get the crowbar. Um, I don't remember exactly where I needed to go for that, but we'll figure it out. They don't know about your petrified wood thieving? Hey, they didn't contact me, but I, I wouldn't have told them. Have you committed any federal crimes? I wouldn't know about that. I, I wouldn't know about that, sir. Hey, was it... Was the metal bar in here? Cause I know the, the stamper thing is in here. I don't know exactly where the metal bar is. Maybe it's like to the left or right. No, it doesn't look like it's to the left or right. How am I already lost? How do I have such a good memory of some things and such a bad memory about other things? I think the things that came naturally to me the first time are things that'll not be so natural this time. Okay, but we should go up. I wonder if the safe code is going to be the same. I still have that document for it, so maybe we can skip a little bit and go straight to the safe. I think it was up that way, though. Yeah, it was. Metal safe seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any such six-digit codes. Do you remember ASCF Gaming? Yeah, there's one... 576848. That wasn't it. Oh, it's not the same code this time. Okay. That's interesting. Sorry about the mouse cursor. I'll move it out of your way. So we can't go north of here. Um, but was there anything else? I think this is the way to the outpost, right? Yeah, we can talk to Silver here. A robot, no power, just like the rest. Silver's robot is here. The light bulb. So you're the messiah. That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Nah, -uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. This is gonna sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world's been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? You must be headed toward the tower. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm supposed to put the light- Oh, it's, it's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb. Or sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend, and the power is the strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. Okay, what if we... give her the strange journal? Excuse me, miss, I found this book. Do you know anything about it? Let me see. What language is this? I'm sorry, I don't even recognize this writing system. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. Although... Miss Insignia. Hold on to the journal for now. It will be important. Okay. Um, there was something on her shelf. A screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? 
Yes, I have many. Thank you. Yes, we have a screwdriver. I don't remember what we need to do for the screwdriver. I remember about the lens and the camera. Wait. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. You must enter it. It's my duty to... I didn't, I didn't read it. We've, we've seen these before, though. Oh, there's the camera. There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks like a camera. What's left of the camera, anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. Or not. I don't know. Use the screwdriver to pull the lens out? Okay. Done. Alright, so we have the lens now. I think... What was that? Are you okay? You're starting to black out. I... saw something? It was like a really short dream just now. Oh? I saw, I saw something like a robot with a yellow eye. That's... strange. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. You know, now that you've mentioned it, there is a robot who always insisted on going back to the abandoned mines. Despite how long the mines have been in disrepair, I hope he's okay. He doesn't look broken or anything, but I didn't really see him see him, you know? Like I said, it was kind of like a dream. And he was up close! Sounds like some kind of visual glitch, or hallucination. Whatever it is that living beings have. Hmm. Does this robot you know of have a yellow eye? I don't think I've seen any other robots like that. I would not know. Never met him myself, only heard of him from a friend of mine. Your friend, huh? Hold on, something in my pocket is... Oh, okay. That's... That wasn't glowing before. What is this? That was going to be my question. Where did you get that book? Oh, uh... It was with me when I woke up back at the house. I didn't really question it at the time. I flipped through a couple pages, but I didn't understand a word. Is that just something messiahs are supposed to wake up with? No, I've never heard of anything like that. But I know who wrote the book. Oh? However... I've only seen his books with a black clover on the cover. He went through the trouble of putting yellow phosphor in it. And the fact that you woke up with it in the first place really has me intrigued. Yellow phosphor? Oh yeah, that's the rare phosphor that people think the sun is made of, right? What's up, Warlord? Wait a minute, how do I know this? I don't think anyone's told me about it. Ah, uh, I could show you if you'd like. My friend gave this to me a long time ago. Ready? Well, it looks like there's a clover in the necklace, too. Like the book. Well, it is the same person. Oh, that's why I think this journal would be important. You said it just started glowing? Yeah. It was right after your vision, then. This has to mean something. Maybe you should at least try to read it again. Okay, let's try to read it again. Okay, so we need a mine cart. Oh, I found this page! Looks like a drawing of this room. Maybe it's telling us we should come here? Which we did already. So it looks like we're on the right track. But it said there's a mine cart there. Maybe you should inspect the journal a bit closer. Do I need to be like in the right spot? Yeah, I think we need to be in the right spot and then it'll materialize. Yeah, oh, this is so cool. Dude, imagine. What just happened? I'm not sure, I wasn't looking. To be honest, neither was I. I was just taking a closer look at the journal. And then I found this page that looks like a drawing of this room. When I look back up, this minecart just showed up out of thin air. Should I be worried? Looks like a standard issue minecart though. Which means it likely detected the motion in this room and sent itself over. Oh, that does make sense. I'm just surprised it still works. Guess that means we'll have a working vehicle now. 
Not sure why you'd want to revisit Deeper Minds, but if you wanted to, we now have that option. Is that minecart even going to fit both of us? No. But I wanted you to come with us. I know I've got ASDF Gaming, but honestly, this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I can still come with. I would just have to follow along on the rails. But doesn't that look a little precarious? The magnetic rails can hold me in place. It's only ever dangerous to walk on if you're an organic being. Which you are. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm controlling it. Nice. Do I still need to be in this minecart? Oh, we can go faster. Oh, let's not let's not abandon silver. I do not recognize this place in the protocol. This... This isn't what I'm supposed to be showing you at all. How did you get here? I can only think of one person. He... Contacted you? How long has he been doing this? It doesn't matter at this point. You are going out of bounds. You should turn back. Please turn back. No, I'm not gonna listen to you. You tried to get me to smash the light bulb. Bad things are gonna happen. Very bad things. At this rate, Nico will be in danger. Please turn back. I ain't turning back. And I'm not gonna go too far ahead of Silver though, because otherwise we might actually be in danger. Competitive there. Okay, here we go. Alright, end of the line here. Oh, the cart stopped. Looks like this is as far as the tracks go. So, where are we? One in the old observation rooms. Looks like it's still mostly intact. What? Huh? terminal just reactivated, but the power was cut off so long ago. Weird. Maybe it runs on battery? No, that's not it. Whatever it is, I need to investigate. Okay. Will you be okay by yourself for a bit? Don't worry, ASDF Gaming's with me. Alright, stay safe. What, what if I wanted to investigate? Smaller machine. I can feel my hair standing up a little. Little generator. Oh! It's Hollow Knight! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I recognize the light in your eyes. You are the person I am destined to meet. What is your name? I'm Nico. Do you know who sent you? Oh, um, no. Wait, do you mean the one who sent me to this world? There was a robot a while back who told me how I'm the messiah and stuff, so I'm guessing ASDF Gaming sent me. With them being caught and all. Robot looks a little like you, even. Maybe you know each other? I cannot say. A lot of my memories have been removed for safety reasons. Your memories were removed? That's terrible. Wait, I'm guessing that's less of a big deal for a robot. I'm going to assume you do not know who sent you. How did you get here, then? How did you reach this room? Oh, uh, we got here in a minecart. But the minecart wasn't here when you entered the mines, was it? Oh, uh, yeah. So how did you find it? I didn't really find it. The robot lady thinks it was just a minecart coming to us, but I remember looking at the journal when it happened. And when I looked up again, the cart was just there. Poof, just like that. Interesting. Please show me this journal. Okay. Then it has already begun. Oh, he's loading a data disk into his head. Um... Oh, taking it out of his head. Here. Hmm, what is that? I am entrusting you with my main memory disk. You have passed the first test by showing me this book. Now you will need to find a way to install the backup. Install the... Before you do that, though. Someone else is with you, right? Someone aside from ASDF Gaming. A resident of this world. Yeah, the robot lady with the red hair. She's in the computer room right now. Then, please do not tell her you found me. At least not yet. I can't be seen like this. Um, oh, 
okay? Please help me restore my memory. Bring back, bring the disc back once you have the backup. Okay, residential tracking machine. For reference and explanation of the symbols. Cross, medical units assigned to this building. Robot or robot is assigned to this building. Electricity of power cells assigned to this building. Oh. Profit bot, zero. Backup system, 1.0. Please insert disk. Yep, that's a computer. Well, we have a memory disk. Okay, it's not, all right. Oh, that is the right one. Error, backup request denied. <laughs> Dormitory assignments are not up to date. Please configure the residential tracking machine to continue. Okay then. Okay, so we need to figure out what buildings are in, in where. I don't know what the buildings are though. 1, 10, 12, 13, 17, 18, 19. Are those the dormitory buildings in the gassy area? I think they are. Where's it going? This observation room isn't for the mines. I've actually never been into this particular one. Really? You recognized it at first though. They all look the same. Fair enough. I did find something interesting though. All the databases seem to encode video feeds. Right now I can see various places in the barrens. The outposts, the residential areas, even my own house. They're all shot from a top-down perspective too. Which means the cameras have to be up in the air. But I've never seen any cameras around. It's kinda spooky. I might go investigate later. Yeah, did you find anything interesting in the back room? You were in there for a while. Yeah, we found a dead end? I see. Okay, can I see that, please? No. Okay, let's head back. And then we need to figure out... It was, what, 10, 12, 13... Something... Something, something. That's what it was. Um, but we need to go get the gas mask, and maybe I'll equip the journal and see when it starts glowing. Because that means that there's a thing with it. And I'll just kind of travel around looking for areas that it might glow. We need to find that piece of metal so that we can make the crowbar again. We already have the lens. We need the gas mask code as well. Um, but I don't really remember how to get that going. So, did the clover appear after you had the journal equipped? No, I think it, it started glowing on the journal. So we were able to see it. Oh, I could just look for clovers around. Yeah, no, I think it was the, the journal cover clover started glowing. But it made a big deal about it the first time, so I think it automatically equipped the, the journal. And I don't know if it'll do that the second time. But I figured if we just had it equipped all the time, then we'd be able to figure it out. I had to stand on the other clover. Oh, that's true, yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, and it was like glowing differently. Yeah, I, I didn't even realize I had to stand on the other clover. I was just trying to match it up. That's funny. I'm telling you, I'm not good at games. I would never get through these games if it weren't for you guys. There was another... There was the boat guy, right? Fun little Easter eggs, yeah. There was another little cabin with the bed in it too. Oh, there's the bar. Nice. The metal pipe must have broken off from one of these terminals. Okay, boat guy's up ahead, I think, too. Oh, he's not here yet. Okay, this is the gassy area. I can't go here. ASTF Gaming, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Okay, but we need this. We need to go flatten this, pry open the thing. Pop the thing out. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Oh no, it's some weird square stuff? So, we're gonna need to find an alternate way to get to the... the Glen. Because if he's there, that's not good for us. Okay, I think we're close to the factory again. I guess I can just teleport there, right? It's the... I don't know. I think we're close enough to just run there. It's probably the entrance. Mm -hmm. 
It wasn't this, right? No, we have to go stamp it in the machine first. Down here. And we'll have a crowbar. Ah, oh, you want me to crush the pipe in here, SDF Gaming? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. Crowbar. Cool. Crowbar. Now we could be Gordon Freeman. Although, if we were Gordon Freeman, I wouldn't say anything the rest of the game. So, maybe I won't be Gordon Freeman. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. It looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. The lens popped right in. We're using the sun directly on the battery? I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, SDF Gaming. Oh, it looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Yes, it was. Yes, indeed. We haven't even been in this room yet. We just know what we're doing. Let's hope the charged battery does something. Boom. Whoa! And yeah, now we can talk to the computer and see what different thing this has to say to us. The screen says documents. I can't seem to make the computer do anything else. Okay, well, I have documents open. Oh, okay. The document.oneshot.txt changed. And now it says the code you need is 458810. We can go punch that in now. Oh, well, we can't get through on the back. Bummer. Okay, we're headed to the cliffs. 458810. 4588108. 458810. That's not it. That, I pushed it one too many times. There we go. 458810. Whoa, it worked! Wait, how did you know the coding, Steve Gaming? I still don't remember seeing one. I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right! Let's see. Ah, oh, I found a gas mask. Wow, we are making crazy fast progress this time. Oh boy. What is that? The world's decaying faster though, though. Okay, gas mask will be equipped. Let me keep let me keep the journal equipped. We can head up here. I think it's this way, right? Oh, no, this is the way to the outpost. I need to go back. Yeah, because we needed to get the syringe first. I should be fine with... I should be fine with this mask on. Oh, good. It's a pair of rubber gloves, they're a bit heavy. Okay, got the gloves on. Don't need to do that anymore, don't need to talk to them. I do need the crowbar. Good thing I kept this crowbar. What a workout. There was something in here that I needed, right? Cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Yeah. The notes are already red, right? Without breaking the seal, inject the phosphor and use... Okay, yeah, the resulting acid. Got it, got it, got it, got it. We've read all those in the first one. So we need to go to the dormitory areas. I want to see what's on top of the buildings, too, to see if they're, like, numbered or something. wonder if I can just keep my notes in... Um, okay, the phosphor dust robots accumulate rust slower than others. Got it. Oh, you don't need the mask on the top area. Interesting. Did I talk to him? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated a long time ago. 
Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See, I have the sun. Oh, the Messiah. I do not know what to say. Reading you was not part of my programming. You've spoken to Prophet Bot. I think so, yeah. Prophet Bot Bill was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with these. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, uh, why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Mm. So these buildings have numbers. So 119... What does 119 have? 119 has a uh, generator. I hope... Let's see if he still doesn't like ladders. Yeah, he doesn't like ladders still. That's okay, Nico. Okay, 119 has generator. I'm gonna write this down in, in a different notepad. Um, okay. Unit RM2883417 reporting for duty. Thank, thank you? I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. Uh-huh. I will now escort you to reach your dormitory. Um, what? Okay, 119. Battery. Okay, let's see what else we got here now. This is one, 113. Is... Oh, I don't know what this is. I can't tell what 113 has. I'm gonna put just put a question mark. Cause I don't I don't know. I'm scared of ladders. It has a note though. Remember being taught in school about the water surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space, but at some point the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the barrens. I wonder where all that water went. And let's see, can we see anything from the outside? No, 113 is just kind of bland. Okay, let's see 118. What does 118 have? 118 has a picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before ASDF Gaming, or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? And he could do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Um, uh, beep boop. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> Wait, who's saying this? That is not correct. Uh. Oh, no way. There's a dude sitting there. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. <laughs> this is amazing. STF Gaming, you made me look silly. Oh, Nico, I'm sorry. Um, hello. Hi, what are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Okay. Okay, so that was what, one... One eighteen. Okay, one thirteen had a note. And it was empty. I'm gonna write that down. One eighteen had a picture and stationed robot. If it's not special, maybe... Okay, what is this one? One... One twelve? Okay, one twelve is medical. Oops. It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Hello person, are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. Okay, so we got the plastic syringe that we need. We have the bottle. We have everything that we need now. What's this one? One... Okay, yep, 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 yep. Yep, okay. 117. Has a note.
Um, we've read that before. Oops. The books are heavy. Yep. There's nobody stationed up here. Just notes in 117. I think that means it's for residents, right? I'm scared of ladders. So then the only thing left is 110. Yep, this is 110. I don't see anything special about- Well, we clipped through the building. That was kind of weird. But it has a... some sort of mechanical drawing. It has notes and drawing. Okay. And a robot beyond repair. Broken robot. So we should have all the info we need now for that cave system guy. But, we don't know what to do. Hmm. Let me... Oops. Get this going. Because we're about to encounter how we need to make that acid. Yep, get the bottle full, that ought to do it. And we need to equip the syringe and go down to where that bubble was of whatever it is. Phosphor juice? Shrimp cocktail? Hey, it actually went in, gross. Then we need to combine those. Yep. It's like I'm a doctor. Probably shake this too. Okay, so now we have a bottle of acid. Okay. We're making some kind of progress. There's this guy on the edge. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. Nico's so sweet. What's this way? I don't think I ever went down this area. There's nothing down that way. That's probably why I never went down that way. Okay, so we have the building information now. So we can probably fast travel to the mines. Or, I mean, at least the outpost. So let's do that. Grimp Swamp, lookout point. We gotta go into the mines, we gotta get information plugged in. Is it plugged in? Name that quote. You guys might know it. You might not know it. You'll probably know it. Oh, don't mind me, just passing through. Okay, 110. What did it say? Um, cross is medical units. Robot is assigned to the building or a power cell. 110 had a broken robot. 117 had a note and nothing else. 112 was medical. 118 had a robot. 113 was empty. And 119 had a battery. Hey, the empty ones just stayed empty. So, map reconfiguration successful. Oh yeah, now we need to insert a di- Yep, that's a computer! Alright. Preparing backup. Writing to disk. 26% complete. 34% complete. 40% complete. 100% complete ejecting disk. Alright. Cool. Boom, stick this back in your head. Does this work? Let's see. Inserting disk. Rebooting. <laughs> a little spin. Ah. Are you okay? Door. So I, I guess it worked? Yes. I believe a proper introduction is in order. I am the prototype, originally named ProfitBot. I was built to greet the savior of the old world. Wait, a Prophet robot like the one that I met? Hey, I was right about you guys looking alike. Well, the Prophet bot out there is now a gross simplification of my design. That is to say, he is much more primitive by comparison. Embarrassingly so. He, he seemed alright to me. You don't understand. Not only is he not tamed, he was tailor-made for this much smaller, simpler world to begin with. 
I was not. I was built before the real world ended. The real world? Oh, right. You don't know. Nico, do you remember the ending? Excuse me? The fact that you found me at all means that this is not your first time in this world. Oh, Nico's getting his mind blown. You have already been summoned to this world once before. In fact, you've already traversed the entire world and went through the tower already. And in the ending, you either put in the sun or didn't. What matters is that you are here now. ASDF Gaming has successfully bypassed the one-shot restriction and brought you back again. I... Oh... Hmm? I thought something was weird. When I woke up at the house, I called out a name. It turned out to be ASDF Gaming's name. And then I, back at the other robot, even asked ASDF Gaming if we met before. It felt like such a dumb question at the time. It looks like you're at least aware of it, to some extent. It's just this weird feeling, okay? I don't actually remember going through the world. I just remember ASDF Gaming. It's really starting to freak me out. Calm down. Look, just how my memories were locked away, yours are too. What? You're a living being, you don't even need extra hardware to remember. Just close your eyes and focus. Focus on what? Try to picture a big room made entirely of glass. No matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. Alright. He's back. He remembers. No way! I was there, wasn't I? At the tower! I've been through... the tower. There we go. I can't remember all that much, but the room with the sun? It feels like such a long time ago. It doesn't make sense! If I already finished the mission, why didn't anything change? And why doesn't anyone know me? The other prophet bot, the robot lady, none of them remember who I am. Of course not, the residents do not have that capacity. NPC memories do not last beyond the scope of a session. NPC? You know, the characters. The world's residents, all their past memories are built into their code, but the characters themselves don't really exist until ASDF Gaming wills it. Same story for the world itself. It doesn't really exist until unless ASDF Gaming initiates the program. That's pretty meta. The program? The world machine. A universe simulator that runs on ASDF Gaming's computer. We're all in it right now. So we're not real? Oh, you are. Which is why you're so important. The biggest flaw of the program is that it cannot be run independently. It requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Think of it like one of your dreams. When you wake up, it's gone. But unlike a dream, this world has a physical location inside a computer which ASDF operates. For this world to continue existing around you, ASDF has to be in constant contact with you. If ASDF ends the program, the world will go into a stasis. Does... does ASDF know this? Of course! From ASDF's perspective, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from other recreational game-type software they may have installed on their computer. They can also regenerate the world as many times as they'd like now that the restriction is nullified. All of that is consistent with their concept of what a computer game looks like. Oh, Nico! So, why am I even here? What am I supposed to save if everything is just... fake? Fake is a harsh word, but... And why did ASDF Gaming never tell me anything about any of this? I cannot speak for ASDF. I just want to go home. But every time ASDF Gaming runs the program, I come back? Correct. Oh, Nico! Is this why I feel like... Is this why it feels like I haven't been home for so long? Maybe. Once you've established a mental link with this world, you cannot break it unless the world is saved. But at this point, the world can never truly be saved. That's... Why would... Why would you create a world like this? Wait, what? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why do you keep bringing me back to it? ASDF Gaming, aren't you supposed to be a kind god? Oh. It appears we have some confusion here. 
ASDF did not build the world, Nico. Oh. ASDF only owns a machine that is able to generate the world from pre-existing code. They actually have fairly limited control of the events. The world was built by someone else altogether. Someone you cannot begin to fathom. It was also not designed to be the feudal quest that it is now, but too many things went wrong. There's a type of signal disruption that he never expected. It's eating away at the world, slowly rendering it into an unrecognizable mess. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. It's square stuff, isn't it? I remember those from before. Then you know what to watch out for. The creator knows what might be causing it, but there's nothing that he could do. Until now. You managed to find me, after all. You being here was due to his help. Oh, I guess it has something to do with the journal? Correct. Looks like he wants to have one final attempt at fixing it, and he might need to do it through you. Nico, do you remember how to get to the Glen? Whatever you did in your last session, you should stick with it for now. I... I remember a boat. More specifically, fixing a robot that drives the boat. Alright, then do that. But the boat robot has those squares all over it. Oh. Then do whatever you must to find a new boat. There are plenty of machine parts around the Barrens that can be repurposed. Hmm. You seem enthusiastic. That was sarcasm. <laughs> Knowing everything isn't real it really does make it feel pointless. But, but you do want to go home, right? Yeah, but how will I know that this isn't just another... Because this session might be the last one. The creator is mobilizing things, throwing everything into this one last shot. It's all vanity. Vanity. There might not be enough internal resources left for ASDF Gaming to be able to generate another session after this. Just go find a boat for now. But please, be careful. What about you? I will meet you at the docks later. Need to take care of something first. Hey, you okay in there? I did what I could with the terminals for now, and... It's you. You're the robot that insisted on living in the mines, are you not? My friend told me to keep an eye out for you, should we ever cross paths. Likewise. Your friend gave you something the last time you saw each other. Can you show me what it is? Oh, wait, you know about the amber? I just asked to see it, didn't I? Alright, here it is. Thought so. He seemed to trust you, so I will treat you as an ally as well. Okay... Please, listen carefully. You need to escort the Messiah for the remainder of the Barrens. I predict a high concentration of square particle disruptions in the near future. No way. Yes. Way. It's likely that the structures in the vicinity of the Messiah might be affected, making it a far more treacherous pilgrimage than the previous... er... expectations. The AC of Gaming and the Messiah need all the extra help they can get right now. Understood. Oh, okay. Guess we should head back soon. Even without the squares... Oh, even without the squares, the mines are not a safe place to be. Come on, I'll wait for you outside. Wait, I want to ask you... You left. If you're gonna ask her about being not real, save your breath. None of the people here know their predicament. In fact, I don't think they can even comprehend it. It would be in your best interest to just pretend like we never had this conversation. Causing mass confusion in this world's residence would likely result in unfavorable conditions for you. Alright. Wait, then what about you? How did you know? We never had this conversation, remember? Uh. Okay, let's go back. This is crazy. I remember it. What happened in the tower. What I tried to do and how you managed to see through it all. We have been through all this. Even though it was only supposed to run once, you still managed to come back. How did you come back? How did you bring Nico back? And then, you even managed to break out of bounds, bringing Nico to places that should never have been. It was him, wasn't it? And now, now, Nico is upset. Whatever happened in that room back there? What did Nico learn? Nico is upset. 
I can feel it. I told you to turn back, ASTF, but you've chosen to trust that man instead of me. No, not even that. Just his book. His ghost. This world is not real. The people are not real. Nico is upset. Nico is... No, 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 no. Everything is wrong. Uh, the minecart. Earthquake. The, the tunnel back out just collapsed. No. What are we going to do? Uh, I, uh, wait. The exit just caved in, didn't it? Uh, I saw this coming, but this is a bit more sudden than I anticipated. Both of you, follow me. Where to? The way out. Oh man, it's getting so good. Okay, all of us are here. There is an emergency exit behind my computer terminal. We did not want anyone to stumble upon this route, so the terminal's been weighed down. It can't be moved by normal means, but with our combined effort it might budge. Maybe. I am not strong. I'm not that strong either. If that doesn't work, we might need to dig around it and... You could have just asked. She <laughs> just shoves the whole thing over. Phew! Come on. No off. Okay, well you know what? I think this is a really good place to end it for today's episode. We got through almost all the barons, it looks like, and things are starting to get so good. So thank you guys for coming on by and watching. Hopefully you're enjoying as much as I am. I'm loving this. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe and comment below and like the video and all that stuff. It's one or two clicks for you, a couple of taps on the keyboard, but it really does help me out a ton. And as always, hopefully you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.